Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 3, Ruined World. At the end of the last recording session, I asked myself if I could tolerate much more of this tower of shifting floors. And today, the answer is no. I don't want to deal with that right now. I am going to go find... Well... Hmm. I'm going to find a way out of this glade, eventually. Okay, those golems are dispatched, and Garnet is here with me, as she often is. So I need to find my way out of this glade, and I am going to go search for those stone circles that are supposedly sending power or something to the big golem tower. You find a grove, blasted by flame, trampled by heavy golem feet. Oddly, no golems are to be seen. However, in the middle of the open area, you see a stone circle, in the middle of which you see an odd spectral light. Here we go. So I'm assuming that the stone circles are basically uh, to the north, south, east, and west of the main golem factory. This one is the eastern golem spire. Uh, you're, they're not visible on the map, but there are magic barriers blocking off all of the gaps in between these large stones, except for right here, apparently. We've got golem sign. Fire golems here. Huh. and whatever that thing in the middle is. Looks like I need to do some reviving. Maybe I should just send a revive all. immune to fire, but you're also positioned pretty well for an ice wall. Targeted anti magic field. Great. Oh, that's not good. That might be the first time I've had someone obliterated in this playthrough. Does Steven have the resurrection spell? Also, question, do we have any Resurrection Bomb, or can I make it? Ooh, I don't know Resurrect. That's a big problem. I might need to reload and come back here. Okay, I'm back at this stone circle thingy. And it took me long enough to get back here, I considered just... Restarting the whole recording over from scratch, but then I'd have to explore this bit again, and I didn't want to do that. I didn't find very much interesting, aside from one message about finding a mother bear and her cubs slaughtered by golems. 
So yet another example of them killing indiscriminately. Now let's see if I can do this without horrible death this time. Hmm. I don't have the protection spell yet either. Wonder when I get that one. Doesn't look like that thing is in a anti-magic cloud right now. Power crystal! 100 hit points, significant armor, radiates anti-magic, is immune to everything but physical damage. Okay then. Power Crystal can also breathe on me for hideous damage. That seems unfair. <laughs> Again, you're supposed to be immune to fire. Why are my flaming weapons damaging you more? You shatter the massive crystal. When you do, it sends one last pulse of energy into the air. Where it goes, you aren't sure. Then the shards of crystal crumble into dust. You think you may have just struck a blow against the golems. Exactly how, though, you aren't sure. Hmm... Oh, that's... Ahem. Well, that's that for this stone circle. Now to go and find the other three. So 
So if that was the eastern circle, then I guess I should circle around farther to the west. So there's something over here to see, perhaps? Oh, here's that message again. You find the bodies of a mother bear and her cubs, burned to death by a golem fireball. This must be a small victory in the golem's war to strip this whole province of life. Mer. You find a small battlefield. About 15 golems have been destroyed here. Their remains lie mixed with the bodies of only five humans. The golem's gems were simply left here. You could gather them easily if you wanted them. Sure, I guess. Oh look, more golem gems! And the golems that they're attached to. Now where was I again? So... Yeah, should I just keep exploring this part to get it up cleared out? I think perhaps I will. It could be better to wait until I deal with the golem plague, and then I don't have to fight golems quite so much. Hello. Seems like the trees do clear out a bit to the north. And seems like I can get over to this island with my orb! The hills here are covered with thorny, unfriendly bushes. You look closer. They're holly! Only the very best berries are useful for alchemy, but you do find a few sprigs of sufficient quality. I'll just give that to my alchemist. And hop back over to the mainland. And now, searching for more stone circles for golem whacking purposes. You find the body of a deer, frozen and then shattered by an ice golem. It was a horrible, senseless act of violence. The golems must be killing everything, no matter how threatening or harmless. Thought I found the dead deer message earlier. Perhaps there's multiple. skirmish between the Empire and the Golems, a dozen of the bladed Golems lie about, chopped into pieces. The Empire forces must have done pretty well. They must have been some of the forces led by General Bazaron. You meet a swift-moving platoon of Empire troops, operating out of Tirono and hunting for Golems. The dervish leading them nods briefly to you, before they move on. Refreshing to find Empire soldiers that are well-trained, well-equipped, and friendly. This looks like it could have something in it. Aha! You find a large glade. It has been stripped of vegetation. The grass and shrubs have been burned away by the golems. In the center, you can see a huge stone circle. It glows with a strange, feral light. I'm going to magic map this so I don't have to walk all the way around. You need it. Oh. I need to have Garnet do the magic mapping because she has the sapphires. Much better. So I'm going to revive Pearl because apparently she took a lot of damage in the last fight. Hmm. 
Well, if this is the southern circle, then maybe the opening in the barriers is farther north? could always just make my own opening. Just bleeding golems this time. That's not a fight that's worth showing at normal speed. MVP Peridot. Again, we shatter the crystal. It sends a last pulse of energy into the air somewhere. And that is both of the forest circles. Most of the unexplored area here is in the mountains. tell if there's any secret areas inside the mountains or not. I mean, I can always just push my face into every single mountain wall, but that takes a little while. Okay, is there anything in this valley at all? So I can clearly see the two towers. Hmm. Okay, so there's one here. I think that's the main factory. I think Zalifar did say I need to fly to one of the towers, or stone circles, or what have you. Of course, he also said that one of them cannot be flown to. So let's putz around with the orb. So let's do a little bit better at putzing around with the orb. <laughs>
Darn it. Ah, here's one. The Western Golem Spire. And what sort of golems do you have? Ice golems! Ridiculous damage aside, at least I can take these guys out with Fireball or Firestorm. This one is actually convenient, a nice golem-free valley in which to rest. I feel like I've got a ring of regeneration somewhere that needs to go on somebody else. Actually, no, Amethyst can keep it. So that's three of the stone circles down, and we've been told to perhaps look for a tunnel for the other one. Though I didn't see anything that looked reasonable for a secret passage. So, I can go back into the golem factory itself, or I could go and do something completely different. While we're on the subject of stone circles, turns out I missed something in the mine area near Spine Ridge and Myrnia. 
a secret passage up into these hills leads to an isolated vale where I find a stone circle. Huge carved stones covered with abstract designs loom over you. The place is almost overgrown and clearly ancient. The sky over the circle is clearer and sunnier than anywhere around, and the air seems fresher. It's a very inviting place. Enter. You intended to look at the designs and search the place a bit, but once inside, your attention is completely grabbed by the altar. The featureless stone in the center completely, inexplicably, and totally seizes your attention. You suddenly feel that it would be an excellent idea to kneel at the stone. What do you do? You walk forward and kneel. Without thinking, you put your hand on the cool stone. For the briefest of moments, it throbs with power, and you feel weak and lightheaded. Then the feeling passes, and... You approach the altar again. You suddenly lose control of your bodies. You kneel and start chanting. You don't understand the words you're saying. They just flow out of your mouths, for how long you cannot say. Then you stand and leave. Knowledge fills your minds. You learn the spells Mass Paralysis and Death Arrows. However, you have a feeling you can't explain. You feel like some events have been set in motion, and you no longer have any control over them. You leave the circle and hike off. After a bit, you look back, only to find the stone circle has disappeared. Again! A patch of bare ground is left behind, with no sign that the ancient circle was there. Hmm. Mysterious events set in motion? Intriguing. But after the events of the Tower of Magi and the Demon Invasion, I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. Anyway, see you next time for... More golems, perhaps? Maybe? Have a good one, everybody.